I'm going to be fixing the borders of Africa. Done. Okay, but seriously. All right, so this is Africa, and if you've seen the uh, Fixing the American Borders video, um, I think you know uh, what this is. I gave the DRC to a nation that the Dominican Republic controlled called the DRDROC, DRCROC, because it sounded funny. So that part of Africa is already done. Also, I gave the ROC to the DRC. All right, so first thing. I have the magnetic lasso tool to make this a lot easier. Does it look to anyone else like Tunisia is a peninsula? I, I think that they should become a peninsula. But how they become a peninsula is not by moving them up. It's by moving Morocco and Algeria down. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Now we just gotta redraw the borders. Perfect. And now, there's a whole new African Great Lake up in Northern Africa. Isn't that just so cool? Look at that lake. And now we've squashed down Africa. Oh boy, look at that. Western Sahara is probably feeling the heat right now. And I mean, Western Sahara, it's... It's... Why does it exist? Just give it to... Um, is this Mauritania? Give it to Mauritania. Boop. There we go, that's looking nice. Alright, going over to Libya. There are some warring factions within Libya. See, this is it. There's these states called Cyronisco, Tripolitania, and Fezau. Perfect, we have three new Libyan nations. But, um, I don't think they're going to last. <laughs> because, um, if you remember in the European and Middle Eastern Borders video, we recreated a modern version of the Byzantine Empire. And, um, let's just say, with being all the way in Israel here, they're going to want a slice of Africa. So, I'm thinking we just take a gander at our new Byzantine Empire. Oh yeah. All right, before I label Egypt, I have one more thing I want to do with them. Since most of Egypt's population, like 99.99% of it, just lives along the Nile River, I thought, why does Egypt even need anything else? Like, why? If most of their population lives along the Nile River, do they need all this useless desert out here? Like, there's no reason for them to have it. Bit. Man, I'm so generous to Egypt, man. You know, I'll even give them their little northern delta looking thing. Because I'm just so nice to the Egyptian state. There we go. This is the real Egypt. <laughs> this does mean that the Byzantine Empire is now cut in half and their lands are not contiguous. But that's fine. Like Ethiopia, look at, look at it over here. It's just so close to the coast. It's so many places. Let's just give it a coastline. The partition of Somalia. Let's give this part here to Kenya to make their coastline actually look fine. Ban Djibouti a little bit. Djibouti's really tiny. So I think they should get expanded a little bit. Let's expand them into the Somali coast a little bit. Maybe, maybe like here. And the rest of Somalia can just go to Ethiopia. You know, for whatever reason, Eritrea always gives me, like, sideways Nevada vibes. You know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of, you know, triangle shape? Oh, my God! You see what I mean? You see what I 
mean, baby? I'm gonna do a little bit of climate change stuff and make their um, Colorado River border be the ocean. Remember, we gotta watch out for climate change. You all thought Nevada was gone in the U.S. states video. No, it's just in the Eastern Africa. Nevada Eritrea. Perfect. Do any Eritreans watching the video? Always been on black. I'm gonna get a little bit more serious here. Look at how many tiny insignificant countries there are. Any should just take it over and form a unified Guinea. Liberia can take over Sierra Leone because it would look so good. Togo and Benin, although I really don't like their shape, are going to stay there because I want to go there in the future. I haven't already been in there, and I want to go there before they go. I'm gonna go there soon. Man, I just squeezed all three of these countries' names in. Nigeria should just take over Niger, actually, because they have very similar names. And then it can form the... Union. Union that'll get YouTubers banned. Yeah! Actually, let me start labeling these with colors. So Spain actually um, claimed these lands, but uh, in an agreement with France, they became Equatorial Guinea. But I think it would look much better if Spain just sort of, you know, kept their original claims. You know, Spain, bro, why did you back down, man? Equatorial Guinea could have looked like this, bro. As for the Equatorial Guinean mainland, I'm going to uh, give it to Gabon because that just looks so much better. Let's move over to Southern Africa now. Why does Namibia have this super long panhandle, bro? Look, that's all that was needed, Namibia. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> but you know, I couldn't do Namibia that dirty. So, I'm going to give them a little bit more land, and also make South Africa's border much nicer. Because look, South Africa has some nice squiggly borders. I believe, does this follow a river? Yes. This, this is following the Orange River. So, in exchange for Namibia giving up their panhandle, which I'm sure tons of people live there. I'm going to give them a little bit of South Africa's land to make their borders look so clean. Because, let's be honest, no one likes that street line stuff anymore. You know Italy, how they have San Marino and the Vatican City entirely enclosed within their country? Well, South Africa almost has both Lesotho and Eswatini entirely surrounded with their country. But Mozambique is kind of cock-blocking here. So, because now we just have to get rid of this border. You know what? That actually kind of looks kind of good. You know what I'm saying? And now South Africa is tied with Italy for the Most Holes in a Country Award. You see, back in the times of Pangaea, Madagascar was actually connected to the rest of the African continent by land. And there we go! <laughs> you, you saw it jump there, didn't you? Also, the bottom really looks 
really weird. So I think I'm going to fill that in a little bit. There we go. That looks a little cleaner, I think. Alright, so I think by now we've all heard the joke that the Central African Republic is not in the center of Africa. So you might be expecting me to put the Central African Republic in the center of Africa. No, for two reasons. One, is because it would require taking land from our glorious DRDRCROCRDROCROC, which I cannot do at any circumstances. And secondly, because there's, there's a much better thing we can do. Why go for the Central African Republic when we can make the Central Earth Republic? Literally in the center of Earth. Let's go with like, let's go with a decent sized one. Maybe we'll make it hook out east. Center of Earth, baby. Across all fours. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, and also the Central Earth Republic is going to have its capital exactly at zero, zero. Because, you know, it has to. It, it has to. It, has, it, it, it's, it must have its capital at zero, zero. That's the new Equatorial Guinea. Oh, it still does not cross the equator. There we go. That's more like it. Be a bit more geographically accurate, Equatorial Guinea, as you say. But now that we have the Central Earth Republic, the Central African Republic is still there. Um... And I think instead of using Central African Republic, we can just use its nickname of Car. Oh my god! Now would be a perfect time to invest. Look at all those neat detailed provinces, by the way. Oh yeah. That just looks so nice. Yeah, I think with the car, I think we've just given Chad like a little little bit of a neck extension right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that there's a country called Malawi that they do not control all of Lake Malawi despite literally being Malawi. I don't know about that one, bro. I'm just kidding. You thought I was gonna let Malawi off the hook like that? No. Malawi is getting partitioned between Mozambique and Zambia. Haha, <laughs> Mozambique go brr. Gotta get rid of all the small countries, like Rwanda and Burundi. Like, why do they exist? And Malawi gets to. I don't think so, little bros. Rwanda and Rwundi, whatever, are going. Now, do I want to give them to... You know what, let's just divide them. Was unsure on whether to give them to Tanzania or the DRDROCCDRCROC, but I'm just going to split them like... There we go. Oh, that actually looks kind of nice. Ooh, that looks nice actually. Now the like mostly the river is the border. Except for like this part up north, but they don't they don't care about that. This will become the new flag of Chad, by the way. The bots have now expanded from Syria to Botswana. That was really funny, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Name and they're basically in um, Eastern Africa right now. And as we look over our gracious African continent, which is the absolute best it's ever been in years. I would like to just thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Asia is next. So um, keep a lookout for that. And uh, yeah.
See you in the next video. Bye.